Naomi and Lola, you both, you just need to come out and tell the world why you are angry. Hey guys, Blessing here. So I believe you guys have been following everything that's been happening so far. Like this past week has been a little crazy. So many people are involved already. So many live videos have been done. Jennifer Collin has done hers. Beatrice Okpaika has done hers. Chula Worldwide is involved. Melissa has said a lot of things. Easy Obeide has done live streams. So this story right here is really multifaceted and I've really taken my time to kind of like put the puzzles together because it's really much more complicated than meets the eye. It is not just what we see on the surface, but there is just more to this story that a lot of us do not know. And everything that is playing out now before our very eyes is not what just happened like a couple of days back, but this thing has been around for weeks maybe even months and I believe the reason everything kind of blew out of proportion is because Lola didn't listen to Melissa's advice to kind of like contain the whole situation for Lola to take her time listen to Naomi and just kind of like try to settle things out of you know the public view but she didn't do that she chose to just entirely cut Naomi off and Melissa felt like it was unfair towards um, Naomi that fingers were being pointed at her and that there were so many people involved in the alleged gossip that people were not really talking about because as you guys probably already know there is an audio out there maybe multiple audios but the problem here is that so many people have kind of like edited the audio they have cut out parts that will benefit them and many of them have really come out with Naomi's part you know the part in which Naomi was heard talking i haven't listened to the full audio i don't have it in my possession i wish i did and i don't also understand why so many people have been secretive about this audio we know that there is an audio out there there is a full version of the entire conversation so my question is why are people making it so difficult to just release this thing because we know it's out there we know people ganged up and talked about Lola and talked about other people. So why are you guys trying to cover it up? Like it's already out there. Sooner or later, it's going to come out. And I really wish I had that audio because I would just definitely just post it and just report what I find about it. Lola have three reasons why she's angry with you. Go and sort it out with her. That is not my business. You guys should remove all those names. So if you're new to this developing saga, let me just give you guys a very, very brief summary into what is happening. So basically, all these people allegedly connived and talked about Lola in a particular audio. And when the audio was released, Naomi's part of the audio got to Lolo and Naomi had to bear the brunt of it. And I was actually shocked when I saw Bianca on that list because I know that Lola is always very protective of Bianca. She's always praising Bianca. And it was this list by Melissa that prompted Bianca to go do this live video that I'm going to show you right here. Nobody went on the gossip. We they talk about two celebrities. Whether you like it or not, Monica is a celebrity. Lola, she's a celebrity. Hello, guys. Really, everyone gossips? That's your defense? Wow, your defense is weak, sis. Your defense is weak AF. Even if everyone gossips, the last person you want to gossip about is the person you call your godmother. Because when you do that, it goes a long way to prove that you are not really in tune with them. Because when you have issues or anything bothering you with someone you're really close to, someone that you truly love, the first person you want to discuss it is with that person, not other people. So if you had any issues or any doubt about Lola, the first person you should have discussed it with is Lola. It's when you don't find any solution discussing it with her, then you can forge ahead to go discuss it with someone that she truly respects and you know she would listen to. Not bypass her, go discuss her with other people and then come sit here and say everyone gossips. That means you don't really see her as a special person the way you portray in the media. That means you see her as just every other person. 
There is something I experienced. I said, ah, I don't have anybody to talk to. And this thing is not nice. No Lord is so one that I love. I said, Mommy Naomi, can I confide to you? Whenever I called my Monda, someone I called my God's Monda, I will ask her, ah, ah, a daddy will, or a daddy will, what the next minute, ah, a daddy will go away, ah, or feel it where, he had to record the head of Muladi, ah, or feel where, he had to hurt a marriage here. In the Bosque, you block me without even hearing a little tip from Bianca. It's not nice in the Bosque. Okay, so here is Bianca, Lolo's goddaughter. She's also angry that Melissa didn't consult her to hear from her. Melissa just went ahead and blocked Bianca. But what Bianca, I don't know if it's just your young age. What you fail to understand here is that not everybody has time for BS. Like, not everybody has time to come sit around and start holding community meetings with you. When they've heard your audio, they've heard what you said about your so-called godmother, they don't have time to come and start to hear you defend yourself so you can't really blame melissa for that one because honestly not everyone has that time for lame talk but one very remarkable thing that bianca mentioned is that the conversation she had with naomi about lolo happened before she got reconnected back to lolo to become lolo's goddaughter again this is a conversation we have before she connected me back to you if I have anything, it's easy to go close to somebody close to you that you can say it to, isn't it? And that is where it actually gets a little confusing because from everything that I have gathered so far, this audio was recorded on the 31st of December 2020. Go to the comment section, you guys, and just correct me if I am wrong. So if Bianca is now claiming that she had that gossip conversation with Naomi before she was reconnected to Lolo, as far as I know, Bianca has been Lolo's goddaughter for longer than two months now. Okay, let's listen to Joy Thomas. I go beat Lolo every day. I don't go, I don't go open seven accounts today now. I go use and take deal with Lolo. Make sure say I frustrate her. I come out. That, that, that small flesh will get so I go come out and she go vanish for this Facebook. Lolo, you are a wicked and bad person, Lolo. You wicked. I know right from time say you wicked. I never like you. Because your heart is full of evil. Lolo, you are a bad person. You are not a good person. I hate you with passion. You and Monica before. I hate you. But Melissa, come out. Come tell me, say, come talk and for everybody. Say, Lolo, blah, 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 blah. Even though as Monique and Melissa are talking, I just forgive you because of Melissa. Maybe say, I still like you. I just want to join you because I don't want to make you feel bad for that period. Because anybody will be Isha. I know they use them, they play. I cannot even understand that there are still people who do this. So you went along with Lolo in this fight, not because you genuinely believe she was being unfairly treated, not because you're following the path of justice, not because you believed she was fighting a good fight, not even because you like her, but because Melissa told you to. Like really? Do you guys think these social media problems are child's play that you just go where the wind blows and where it's trending? You all need to start to learn how to support only what you honestly believe in your heart is true. And you also mentioned the fact that you are always up for Asian people. Like how can you pursue justice when your judgment is based on tribalism? Like where is your integrity? When the thing fair happen, you know what thing we they do? We, we join our two arena, everybody they beat uh, uh, Lolo. Until Melissa can't come out. When they try to buy everybody before everybody can say, eh, now this one they happen. We can't deviate, can't share ourselves into two. I even beg Spirit God saying that and I may follow us now. He said, you know, they can't say Lolo won't done. Like, if this is how majority of Lolo's fans are, and if this is how they think, then Lolo doesn't really have true fans. She doesn't really have people who genuinely love her. She just has people who have been persuaded to join her camp and fight against the other camp. Not because they truly love her for who she is, but because of reasons best known to them. Now, let's listen to Beatrice of Baika. Anybody can block me for now. Block me, not me to see your video. In my care. You still they call people up and that record there just to prove say you are a good person. It then wow, it then wow, 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 wow. 
all these people who are now openly condemning Lolo used to be part of her inner circle. So from all indications, Lolo's camp is now in complete disarray. Her fortification is in shambles and I am not sure this damage is repairable because most of her former team members that we all know supported her openly and publicly and even fought for her are no longer on her side as we speak. And in the wake of all of this drama, I find it weird to believe that Lolo has not really come out to address the matter on ground. Although she announced on Instagram that Facebook has placed a restriction on her page. But the truth of the matter is that Lolo has several platforms she could use to address this matter. There is Instagram Live that she regularly use for live videos and there is also YouTube which she has used hundreds of times recently. Besides, Lola just did a live stream two days ago on YouTube where she was celebrating Valentine's Day with her darling husband. And guess what? Bianca was not there to support her as usual. Bianca is someone that would normally attend all of Lola's live streams. Even when she joins the stream late, she is going to comment and apologize for coming late. But in the wake of all of this drama, it now looks like Bianca has started to gradually shift away from Lolo. Because while Lolo was doing her live stream, Sarah T-Boss was also doing her own live stream on YouTube. And Bianca was sharing Sarah out, but she didn't share Lolo's video on her social media. So it is getting clear here that Bianca is getting sick and tired of this guy godmother goddaughter thing and i'm also of the opinion that the concept of a full grown woman appointing another woman like her to be her godmother is just cringy like what's the whole idea behind it anyway i mean as an adult you can have mentors you can have role models and people you generally look up to but not godmothers are you in the mafia or something is this a cult all of you still doing this godmother goddaughter thing need to eradicate this senior high school bruhaha because honestly it's causing more harm than good. Oh, okay, best to cause you. You don't make confess it. Hey, you record that. You don't it because you want to prove that you are too good, you are too nice. So where we are right now is that Lolo's camp has crumbled. People like Melissa, Jasper Diamond, Nelly Black, Beatrice Opaika, Naomi, Bianca, Agnes Teresa, they have turned their back against Lolo. The major people who stood for Lolo, who fought her battle for her online, have openly and publicly denounced her. And I believe some of them have even started making an attempt to decamp. I saw a post by Nelly Black the other day where she was commending Monica for analyzing the issue impeccably. And that is one of the things I was trying to tell Lolo in my last video that people want to be identified with prosperity. People want to be identified with progress, where things are looking good, where the grass is green. Nobody wants to wallow in self-pity and playing the victim. And this is the point so many people, including myself, try to make, but Lola would never listen. And some members of Lola's camp are very ashamed at the moment. They wish this thing had never come out in public in the first place. Because they know that people from the other camp are going to be having a field day with the confusion that is in their midst right now. They are now a thing of ridicule because their dirty laundry has now been brought out. And Monica is even in possession of the almighty audio and she plans to play it anytime soon. But the climax of this whole saga is that people have now started to threaten Melissa to bring out her pictures. As you know, Melissa has always operated incognito and she's very careful about protecting her identity because of the track record of damage and carnage she has left behind. And one of the major people doing this thing is Chula Worldwide. You guys need to watch out for my next video because I am going to be dissecting the role Chula has now taken upon herself to play in this whole issue. If you'd like to see that video about Chula Worldwide, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified once I upload that video. And in case you're wondering, Chula Worldwide is actually Lola's former goddaughter. So you can see that this entire story is beginning to develop wings and branches. Make sure you like and share this video and I will catch you on my next one.